can't even count my blessings. Eka, eka. Oh, if I count my blessings, <laughs> count your blessings and say what God have done. Count your blessings and say what God have done. I can't say it because it's plenty. Many, many things God have done for me. When I'm counting it, I'm saying thank you, oh Lord. I can't tell them this morning. I can't count all. Wow. I want you to appreciate people that will come for the birthday. Uh, from London, from America. Mm, two of my friends from Canada. One from America. Lots from England. <laughs> Lots of friends from England. Please something sweet for them. What? Please something sweet for them. Oh, I can only tell them God will bless them. Because I'm short of word. When I saw them yesterday, oh, it's good to be nice. I'm not priding myself, but I'm nice. Wow. I saw it yesterday and this morning. Happy birthday to you, ma. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma. You are welcome. I am the celebrant's sister. younger sister, and uh, the celebrant is a fantastic, fabulous elder sister of ours. We are five in number from, uh, from one side, the other side, uh, they are good as well. Oh, she's very, very pleasant. She's pleasant, she's lovely, she, she, she doesn't bear malice. She's just down to earth. That's it. That's who she is. I wish her many, many more years. Um, more blessings. Good luck and long life. Jujui. 
and I'm here to celebrate a very special sister and uh, Mrs. Bola Garuba. Uh, happy birthday. A birthday full of grace, mercy, joy, and uh, completeness. And uh, may God continue to um, embrace her joy in the land of the living. May God continue to expand her in all areas. And may she enjoy the fruit of her labor regarding her children and grandchildren. I wish her many, many milestones in Jesus' name. Thank you.
I've known the celebrant since uh, we were in secondary school, yeah. about almost 52 years ago. How can you feel about her? She's a fantastic lady, very straightforward, and um, she's loving. She'll tell you the way it is, not that pretending. So she's been like a, a sister, she's a sister to me. Because when we were in secondary school, when the seniors are trying to harass me, she'll go and fight them. She'll tell them they must not give me punishment. Then at then we were quite young. I didn't even know the implication. Not until we grew up. Then I knew that uh, she's a darling. So she's a, she was a Muslim. I'm a Catholic. So anytime they are, when she she was living in Ikeja then, anytime they are having Muslim celebration or they are doing, I go there with my children to spend the days with her. Then eventually she moved to London. Why I can never ever forget her. When I went back to London, I had two children and. I was pregnant then. I went to London. She said, why don't you stay with me, with your children? Which is very unusual for people staying in London. Can you believe I stayed with her? I wasn't paying rent. I was not paying electricity. But once in a while, I just help in the house. It got to a stage when I had a baby, because I was pregnant when I got to London. When I had this, my baby, she was the one who battered the baby. The baby is now 32 years old with two children. So we have really, really come a long way. I can never, ever forget her. And I pray God will give her longer life. She will be 90, 95, and, and over with good health. Uh,
have been faithful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Sis. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. I'm Professor Shirley Lalio. By his grace, the rector and the president of the living so by the college and seminary in Ogo State. By his grace, the college has been recognized and uh, given a green light to go ahead, do this for our dignities in our society. And I'm glad to bring in our mommy, our mother, into this key, which has started for some years now in the seminary. We are able to locate a few number of people who, by the grace of God, godly, honorable, and of course, God-fearing people which means it is extended today to Mumi Tito and of course to whoever also the Lord Jesus is both spiritual and of course there is a secular as well so we don't just talk on anybody but by the leading of the Lord to propagate the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ Society in Nigeria and outside, and I was asking them the question. Even those who became my junior, I'm talking of 1990, 91, after my degree in the secular, the Lord said, Go there, that's where I sent you. People like Baba, why am I pulling? Retired military, the former NTA Channel 6, Channel 5, or Channel 10, then Baba Wigwe, and a lot more. Very old people. So I called them and asked them the question, what are you people looking for in the seminar? So they told me, young man, that was then. I'm also close to 70 now. So they told me, young man, then. <laughs> that, uh, that is where everybody is going to head it up. I just see the barrier, you know, we as pastors, as ministers, we are engaged in all those things, navy ceremony, marriage ceremony, burial ceremony for old people. My father has also died, my mother has died. Uh, I want those who are from the faculty to come closer. Doctor, Remy, Ali, please come closer. Let me need to get guys, can we need to as many as the Lord will lead us? Mommy, who is on the seat? I should have introduced her first. Please, let's clap for Mommy. Mommy is going to she has been our link, and of course, a wonderful mother, which you can also do. One or two points that I have here is a living soul by the college and seminary seminary from Ogun State, Nigeria. I'm introducing the few faculty members who will do the decoration. I have in the house Dr. Remy. Shout out to you, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As a veteran lecturer in the Bible school. Yes. Dr. Mrs. Online Room is here also. Shout out to you, Hallelujah. I still want to call you, sir. I am going to take a picture with her. But let's go ahead uh, to do the decoration.
that's our big mother, our grandma. We bring the decoration right away, and then the picture taking will be. Education 
attending children's home nursery and primary school in Molete, Ibadan. She then went to attend Liberty Secondary School. In 1970 to 1975, Dr. Mrs. Bolatito worked as a custom officer. She also worked as Nigerian Airways. In 1981, Dr. Mrs. Bolatito was married and gave birth to two beautiful children, Ruki and Moby Garuba. In 1988, Dr. Mrs. Bolatito relocated to London, United Kingdom, where she still resides till today. In 1998, Bolatito, Dr. Mrs. Bolatito started a consultancy company, Titi Added, right? Tito Ahead, which was successful for over three decades. In her time spent in the UK, she has graduated from the London School of Business Management University with a BA honors. Presently, Dr. Mrs. Bolatito is now retired and is enjoying her life as a pensioner. She spends her time traveling around the world and spending time with her grandchildren. Thank you. Thank you. God's grace. <laughs> I'm GBK Babatunde. I'm the celebrant younger sister. So I can't even ask you how long you've known her. You've known her for ages. Yes, I was born into her hand. Oh, wow. So can you tell us one memorable thing you won't forget about? Oh, you know, when we are much younger, we normally travel with my mom abroad for summer then. So in 
70, let me be specific. I think it was 1976. My mommy relocated from Ibadan to Lagos. So I was left in the body house at Lafayette Institute. So my sister, you know, came from Lagos to pick me up from school. Normally, I thought we can only travel on plane abroad. But from Ibadan to Lagos on plane, so the other students were saying, oh, GPK parents, they have plane. <laughs> so I thought that plane was ours. It was my sister that was picking me. Any holidays, meet Sam, she would take me and we would come to Lagos by plane. So that, I give it to her. Normally, she's our elder sister. We call her Sisimi Bola. That Sisimi Bola was initiated by her. Because normally we call ourselves by name. So she now came from Lagos. She said, no, you can't be calling me Bola anymore. So you have to call me sister. So my daddy overheard her and said, no. OK, everybody call her Sisimi. That is it. So now. She has attained seventh level. We will now call her Dr. B now. <laughs> Dr. B, yes. I wish her, as she's turned 70, may God Almighty be with her. Crown all her efforts, all her family, our children, our grandchildren, great grandchildren. God will take total control of them in Jesus' name. As she has attained this age, I can't say God has not done everything for her, but God will continue to bless her and favor her in whatever she lay her hands on. It will prosper in Jesus' name.
again, I would like to recognize the presence of.
each time she's having and having their Muslim celebration, I'll go to her house in Ukeja with my children and it is all the Muslim whatever they are doing. So we got to a stage, she decided to travel to London. I got involved in that. Then she traveled to London. We started communicating from Nigeria to London. At the, at the end of the day, while I was working in post authority, I finished my sectarian course, went to post authority, and then she came to me like she wants to travel to London. That's how she was able to go to London with her children. Not quite, let's say about four or five years. My, my office, Nigerian Post Authority, decided that I should go and do shipping management because I've reached the peak of my career. I was working with the managing director of Nigerian Post Authority. So they sponsored me to go to UK to go and study shipping management. So I had to reach out to my beautiful, lovely, kind-hearted friend to say I'm coming to England with my children. I have two children and I was pregnant with the third child. She said, why don't you stay with me? I said, why not? Because we've come a long way. That singular help she did to me, I can never, ever forget. So she accommodated me with three of my children and one of my step, step children. We were four in the house. She said, okay, she has a girl and a boy. The boys will be sleeping with her. The girls, my girls and my girl, will sleep in one room. Then I myself and my stepdaughter will sleep in another room. That was with the arrangement. And I have to go to school. She decided on her own that she would be taking care of my baby. When I had the baby, she came to the hospital because I was pregnant when I moved in with her. She came to the hospital and she was the one who bought the baby for the first time. When she was batting the baby, she turned the baby upside down. All my other children were screaming that why is she turning the baby upside down? She said that's the tradition. So with that similar act, and she was the one taking care of the child, um, I still I go to school and home back. So the children amongst themselves, they arrange on how they go to school. She pick them up at times, sometimes they come back themselves. And what is the only friend that will be to anybody? So going to England is not easy because you have to get a place. And the place I was staying with her, I did not pay a dime. She didn't even ask me for any money. What I do to help her to assist is to do a bit of shopping. Then she said, why are you doing this shopping? I'm okay, I'm all right, I can do it for you. What are friends for? I can never, ever forget that. My, my husband's uh, cousin, they came to me in England. Then they said, why don't you come and stay with us in Northwest? From there, you can arrange and buy. Because I was planning to buy a place for myself. I said, please. I had to beg her. She said, where are you living? I had to explain to her. But she was not too happy about it. But at the end of the day, I had to apologize to her that I just have to go for it. That it's not the best for me to stay for with her. But I enjoyed her company and her children. Fantastic. So the children, they, as if they are from the same father, we were all together throughout the years I was in England before I moved out and got my own accommodation. Why I'm saying all this is that that's how you know who is your friend. In the time of need, in the time of whatever and she was there for her, I can never ever forget her. And uh, the idea of is she that made me know that was because I'm a Catholic. Because of her, I will go to her office to go and do this uh, city layer, or what do they call it? Go there with my children. So I was I'm so, so happy to have her as a friend. And since then, we've seen me together. Anytime I go to her, I go to visit her. She comes to visit me or we go out together for lunch. And when we go for lunch, can you believe she's still paying for my lunch? Each time she pays for my lunch, I say, Why are you doing that? She said, Because she earns pounds. I earn my own. I said, That's beautiful. Wow. So I'm so happy. Thank you, my friend. You are the best. God bless you. I thought I was even older than her. It was only when she sent an invitation card that she's 70. That's how I knew her. How come? <laughs> so we thank God for friendship. I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much for being.
being there for me all the time. God bless you. Thank you very much. And then I'm uh, thinking, which sister? And somebody has anything, it goes on and on, and I met her, and everybody in London at that time was to say, I saw your big sister somewhere. So we met and we clicked, and I've been her sister from another mother ever since. So close to 40 years now, she's been an awesome, awesome woman, awesome sister, awesome in every way. She'll take your your situations, your you know, when you're going through these courses and all that, be sure she's gonna be right there beside you. She walks every walk with you. And she's never ever tired of listening when she has ears to listen when you have a um, when you need to when you need to vent, when you need to uh, when when you're happy, not just when you're sad or when you're stressing or when you're going through situations. Even you're at your happy time, she's always there with you. And she's very, very giving. She is loving and loving, but she's very tough. Sometimes she says things that, and I always check her and I said, no, you can't say that to people. No, that's not the way to say it, she said. But how should I say it? I said, because you're wrong, you don't say that. And she takes the correction. She doesn't, you know, feel offended that I have to correct her. And, um, you know, I just want to wish you happy birthday. Wish you many, many happy returns. You celebrate your uh, 60th, 90th, 100th with good health and sound mind. The Lord will continue to watch over you. He will continue to beautify you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And you enjoy and reap the fruit of your labor regarding your children and your grandchildren. And uh, this day, as we're all here, uh, everybody's here from far away to celebrate you. We all remember this day for good. And uh, well, I love you and I wish you a very pleasant, great, awesome sentence. Hello, can you help us? Yeah. So, one, two, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. Jesus, mommy. So uh, you repeat after me. Okay. All right. So when I say J, you say J, 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 J. When I say E, you say E, E, E. 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 Ah, mommy, are you okay with the sound of the voice? The volume should go up, right? Eh? So I believe we can do better. So can we just push up the volume a little bit? Okay, can we do that for Dr. Bolatito? All right, are we ready? Yes. I want you to nudge your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready, get ready. Eh? Let's see. Okay, let's, let's do this together. When I say J, you say J, J. 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 When I say E, you say E, E. 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 When I say S,
Um, I have never seen. Please, you have to kill this thing. Kill it for now. Thank you. <laughs> this party is the best one in 2024. Oh, yes! Yeah. And if you want to see the best of it, of course, you know if POS is talking, he has 25 years behind it. There's no weekend that we have not broadcast POS in the last 25 minutes, 25 years or so. And 50 years, the man who's talking here. So I'm happy that I connected with this family, not too long, but this woman, as you must have heard people say, she's a perfect woman. May God bless you. Amen. Now, where are all the siblings? They have not sat down. Ah, they love you for this. Every one of them is an MC. All of them, they never sit down since. May God bless all of you. It's, uh, no, let us hear a very big amen for them. And these are all people who have achieved. They are in the top hierarchy of their businesses, yet they left it for her. And they've been on their feet going up and down. May God bless you. Can we have them? They are busy. Ah, they're still busy? No, they must come and take photographs. Oh. Ah. Okay, in that case, all the friends will please come and have some photograph sessions with her. They will have photographers, we have cameramen. That is the, that's the beauty of today. Put your hands together for her again as you come along to have the uh, photo session with her. The video and photo session. I think it's just good to be good. That is the story of this, of this 70th birthday. She has touched people from different aspects. Lawyers are here. Insurance practitioners are here. Broadcasters are here. Entertainment. Those in the maritime industry are also here. I see Princess uh, Vicky Hastrop must have gone. She's been here for a long time. And of course, 89 stroke, 90 year old. <sighs> Cash Pana, Miss Lola Idiocer is here. She'll be joining us in no minute. I hear she's also pack it in. I say, at, at, at 90, <laughs> she has to continue to pack it. Well, I, I mean, we still need to do this photograph session before I hand over the microphone to them. Who else is remaining? <laughs> Mrs. Bakia, Modulus, have you? All the sisters should please come. Sisters, brothers, you have done well, I can see. Ah, well, no, they throw them back people like this. I'm going to go and take this photo now. My sister, come and have a photo. Where are your sisters? All of you, please. You're about to say, Awara, Ebo. Let's do the photograph session in batches, in batches. All right, the friend. The photographers, are you properly, properly positioned? Let me see if we take somebody here, like no deal.
My name is uh, Demola Shichi. Uh, I wish her many happy returns of the day. She just climbed the, uh, the seventh floor of the Septuagenarian uh, Elite Club. And I wish her many more in good health and happiness. Thank you.